Yeah, back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez said farewell. I'm out of here. On social media, he basically deleted everything. Deleted his Twitter, IG. Went ghost on everybody. Let's talk about it. So, Tory pulled a Houdini today. Poof, and he vanished. Or maybe not. I think Tory sitting back, loving the clout, enjoying the attention, probably working on some music to drop. And this is a way of him bringing the attention to him. He probably just sitting back with the homies like, yo, look what they saying. Because, you know, you got homies around and they have cell phones and they have social media. So I know he sees what's going on on social media. It's not like he's oblivious to what's being said, the jokes, the memes. So basically everybody's saying Tory running from that situation that happened with Megan that he's in a court battle with. I don't think so. I don't think just because you delete your social media means you're running. It's just memes, like I said, and jokes. Because the government has your address. They know who he is. He's a known figure. It's not to say you can go off the grid in 2021. That's a thing of the past. There's something called Google. Face recognition. I could go on for days and days. So basically, that's not it. We could rule that out off top. Tory running from jail time, you can't run from jail time if you're in America. If they want you, they're going to come get you. That's just how this thing go. If you feel me, hit subscribe button, K Will TV. We keep it real over here. We ain't got time for the propaganda and the nonsense. You get me. So, I personally think, man, Tory probably like me and many others deleted social media because... It got watered down. It used to be fun. It used to be cool. And now it's just kind of lame. Like, it's not what it used to be. It kind of just, like I said, got lame, man. Me, personally, I don't have Instagram anymore. Facebook, that's for family, close friends, whatever, whatever. Other than that, I'm on this thing with y'all right here. I devote all my time to YouTube. Coming to you guys and dropping that daily content, them daily videos, and touching Base, know the vibes. Tap in, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. K Will TV, yeah. But like I said, man, I don't think Tory running from no jail time. But the jokes are funny, ha ha. You know what I mean? I think personally, maybe Tory taking a step back, trying to see if, trying to see if y'all really mess with him or not. See if I'm gone, will y'all miss me? Apparently. Since he left, they just been cracking jokes. <laughs> Tory makes great music. Good, you know what I mean? But people don't cut your ass, man. This day and age, people people don't care about you. Your fans are your biggest haters. If somebody needed anyone to know that, I just said it. You know what I mean? Your fans are your biggest haters. You see people bigging you up, 9 out of 10, they can't wait to see you fall. That's just how the game go, man. So Tory right now, he's probably evaluating his career, seeing where his fan base lies, the cult following versus the riffraff. See who stays around, see who's clowning him. Maybe a couple of them celebrity friends might come out the woodwork, say one or two wrong things, thinking boy gone and boom, he popped back up. Drop an album or drop a hot song or something and now y'all trying to feature, y'all trying to get in the studio with him, y'all trying to get him to answer the phone. So, you know, it could be one of those situations too. Like I said, boy probably trying to reevaluate his celebrity. He probably like, listen, I want to see if the fans and the guys in the industry, because you know, he been outside the industry since that situation. Yeah, Tory kind of independent right now doing his thing. So he probably just reevaluating the game. Like, let me take a step back, forget all this clout nonsense that's already here from the past let me cut that and let me see let's start over let me see who's gonna stay around after i come back kind of like what hove did when he had a retirement floyd had a retirement maybe maybe tory's just taking a quick retirement and he gonna double back we don't know you know this is just speculation i'm just saying you feel me but 
Definitely is something to see. A celebrity deleting all their social media in 2021. Maybe trying to reinvent himself. Because as an entertainer, you should reinvent yourself after a certain amount of time. Because you do gain new fans along with your current fans that have been around with you from either the start or the middle of your career. So maybe, like I said, Tory's reinventing himself. He's taking a step back, reevaluating his fan base, seeing who stays around, seeing who stays down, who's for real, who's there to spend that money on the music. And like I said, you got to get rid of the riffraff. I believe in 2021, everybody personally should be taking a step back from social media and evaluating their personal life. Yeah. If this situation in the world hasn't given you the time, the personal time to do as such, maybe you need to make the time and handle your problems. Because hanging out with a gang of friends, that ain't going to work. Partying up with a whole bunch of nobodies, that ain't going to work. You get me? It's not helping your situation. The energy is good to have around you. That's why we do the things we do. Because sometimes we're, when we're in a bad place, we need, we feed off the energy of others. But sometimes you got to sit with your own energy and evaluate that. Know who you are as a person before you bring yourself around others. You get me? Now, I ain't no therapist. I, 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 I ain't going to sit here and tell you what to do. But... You know what I mean? I think everybody should take their own destiny into their own hands. And another thing, learn to govern your own body. And when I say that, I mean, take care of yourself. Work out. Eat better food. Drink water. Stay away from soda and juice. Even though you think juice is probably good, it's a good substitute for soda. It still has sugar. Drink water. Do everything in moderation. In life, you do everything in moderation. If you plan on having a long, fruitful life, you plan on being here to 80, 90, or plus more than that. Well, you got to keep the vehicle running. The body is a vehicle. And the vehicle can break down if mistreated. That's how you're going to end up at the mechanic shop. And you know what that is. I ain't got to tell you. Y'all know what the mechanic shop is. And you don't want to end up there. You might leave that mug with a bad flat tire. You can't, man, you come in there with a flat tire, leave with a bad engine or something. I'm just saying smoke coming out the tailpipe or something. So, like I said, the body's a vehicle and you don't want it to end up in the mechanic shop. So govern yourself and take care of yourself. But, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. You're now welcome to K-Will TV. I'm going to catch you all in the next one.